There seems to be a mid-range war brewing. But not one with a whole new line of cards from both vendors, unfortunately, but rather a revamped, beefed up version of what's already available. What we're talking about is the inevitable Radeon RX 590 and the possible GTX 1060 with G5X memory. The latter being much fresher, so let's touch on the RX 590 first. The Radeon RX 590 we already know is a spruced up turbocharged Polaris based GPU, which we can derive from earlier leaks. But it appears that this go around may be on the better optimized 12 nanometer node rather than the 14 nanometer node that the original Polaris 10 and Polaris 20 refresh dies were manufactured on. While the leak from the other day showed that the performance per clock gain was well within margin of error, I didn't however stress enough that the clock speed was higher than what most people would ever likely see on their RX 580s, showing the core clock of 1545 MHz. And with the latest leaks showing ASUS prepping to launch their very own Radeon RX 590 ROG Strix, you can bet that the green team will be ready to counter with something of their own. Enter Gigabyte's GTX 1066 GB but now packed with GDDR5X to boost their memory bandwidth. If it were not for the upcoming launch of the Radeon RX 590, this would have been easily to brush off since there's an abundance of GTX 1060 variants floating around the world with three gigs, five gigs, and six gigabytes of GDDR5, and now a possible GDDR5X variant. It would make sense that this would be the easiest way to keep the 1060 on a competitive edge against the RX 590, which seems to rely on core clock gains to beat out the competition. But the bandwidth lacking GTX 1060 may be able to hedge out against the RX 590 with much more memory bandwidth. Either way, the budget-minded mid-range might get a shot in the arm soon. While neither one of these are fully new cards, they're at least something different that offers better performance than what is currently available in that pricing bracket for those looking for new, not used cards. After all, it's gonna be some time before we see Radeon launch Navi and the RTX or GTX 2060 from the Nvidia camp is still really nowhere in sight. So at this point, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these is this a refresh on both parts really justified? Is it something you're looking forward to, uh, even if just seeing new cards come onto the market in this price range? Now, pricing is key to the importance of these here. So uh, to come in at a lower price, this could be very, very interesting, but I wouldn't imagine that they'd cut out their own partner cards. So at the end of the day, that's where we are. Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.